So a 93-year-old South Carolina woman is fighting to keep her land and property after the developer sued her in what she insists is part of a relentless effort to force her off her property so they can use it for a nearby development. Now, with us as black people in America, we've had millions upon millions of acres of land and we have lost our land, not because we just squandered it off, but we lost our land due to white supremacist terrorism. We lost our land due to eminent domain. We lost a lot of our land uh, when they ran highways, you know, through different places. To, they even harmed our businesses in the area. And then you have developers like this who know that black people are the least protected in the United States of America. So they're going to try to do everything they can to run you off of your land and then offer you some cheap change to get your land. Now I say the Bailey investment group approached Josephine Wright earlier this year, asking to buy her 1.8 acre property on Hilton head Island to use for its 27 acre, 147 unit development called Bailey's Cove. She refused because the home has been in her family since the, after the civil war, the relatives of her husband is a Gullah Geechee Islander as they were freed by union soldiers after they escaped enslavement. She says it's historical. It goes back to the civil war and it's been in the family since that time. Uh, she said of her home at a news conference the previous week, she said, we want to keep our property within the family. And that's what she's supposed to do because that is actually generational wealth passing down land and investments and things like that is what build generational wealth. Like a lot of the white folks, they got a lot of that old slave money and that old slave money. And even a lot of the land that they have, they stole from black people from many, many means. And they passing that land down to this day to their descendants. And I say in February, they say the group filed a lawsuit against right. They say, and claiming that a satellite dish screened in porch, and a shed were encroaching on the group's property line and obstructing the construction progress behind her house. And said a granddaughter, it says Sharice Graves, had told the news that the family spent thousands to remove items mentioned in the Bailey group's claim, it said, but they continued to badger right. It said Graves claimed the developer offered her grandmother $39,000 for the land. Are you freaking serious? $39,000 for almost two acres of land? That is nothing. Nothing at all. She has every right to say F y'all. You say in response to the suit, right? A grandmother 40. This lady has 40 grandkids. My Lord, God bless her. It's a filed a counterclaim. It's a alleging, it's a consistent, it's a constant badgering of tactics of intimidation, harassment, and trespass. It's a to try and force her to sell her property. Now, a grave set up a GoFundMe to help pay for legal expenses and the construction of a fence between Rice property and the Bailey Group's development. They say the fundraiser has received nearly $120,000 in donations, and NBA star Kyrie Irving reportedly donated $40,000 to her cause. And this is why they don't like Brother Kyrie Irving, because Kyrie Irving do help out. And that's what we expect out of our brothers and sisters who have those kind of means. $40,000 is like $4,000, some of them $400 to help somebody out. And that right there can help really do something for her. And what we would like to also see is high powered attorneys to come in for these situations and, and, and say, look, I'm going to represent you. We're going to make sure this, you know, is done the right way. We're not going to let them just bully you. No, not at all. That land is a family heirloom and that's exactly what needs to stay. They can go build their stuff somewhere else. Why do you want her 1.8 acres when you got what 27 already? Why? That's enough. That's enough land for you. That's enough. But the fact is what they don't want is they don't want to put their stuff there and a black woman benefiting off of, uh, the land being raised into the millions. That's what they don't want. That's why they all want her off that land. They don't want black people benefiting whatsoever. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, this story here. And, um, no, black people don't need to sell their homes. They always come to black people's homes. Oh, I'll buy your house cash today. You know, selling your land, don't do it. Cause whatever price they give you, you better believe your home and everything else is worth 10 to a hundred times more.